is Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing my October favorites talking about some of my favorites from the month of October. This month I don't have too many favorites specifically but I have some random favorites and then some TV movie favorites as well so we'll jump into the TV movie first. Excluding the normal shows I watch, by the way. This is just like stuff that's new or whatever. So yeah, starting off with movies, I watched the movie Coraline this month. I love the book. Um, I really enjoyed the book and I watched the movie. And at first I was like, oh, it's cute. Like, it's okay. But I ended up liking it. I think it's worth the watch if you've read the book and you've liked it. Definitely check it out. I don't know how it is, like, if you haven't had prior knowledge of the book, if you know what I mean. Like, I already had my opinion on the story from the book, but the movie was pretty solid as well. The mom was creepy. At first I was like, aw, like, this is cute. Um, but the mom, she turns really creepy. The cat in this story was everything. <laughs> for TV shows we'll talk about one that I actually have already watched. This was a rewatch for me, like a re 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 rewatch because I've seen this like six times, seven maybe. I've seen this show so many times through but it's Futurama. I don't know, I was in a mood to watch Futurama so I've been doing that a lot um, in the month of October and I just really love this show. It's great. Basically it's an ad adult cartoon. I would definitely recommend it. It's about this boy named Fry who gets frozen and he wakes up many years later into the future and it's kind of how things are there and he works for a company that a delivery company that they deliver things on a spaceship and it's about the people he works with and the people he's friends with and all that sort of stuff it's a lot of fun it's really funny step we'll talk about stranger things season two which i'm not going to talk about too much but if you haven't watched stranger things definitely do so I love season one. Season two I made a whole video talking about how much I loved it so definitely check that out if you're interested but Season two was not disappointing. Next show is one that I'm gonna place a lot of warnings on right now. Um, it's called Big Mouth. It's an animated show, but don't let that make it okay if you're seven to watch it. Because this show is the most graphic cartoon I have ever seen in my life. Like I've watched probably every solid adult cartoon other than like Archer. So I've seen like Family Guy, American Dad, The Simpsons, Bob's Burgers, which Bob's Burgers isn't that graphic at all. Um, but like Futurama, like all of that stuff. And of course it's always like that language. Sometimes they show things they probably shouldn't, blah, blah, blah. This show, I don't know how it was allowed to go on Netflix. Like that's how I was shocked. It's probably not the way you're thinking, but like it's literally about children and puberty, which you think, oh, that's not bad, but it's really graphic. So definitely just know it's an adult cartoon. So if you're into these funny adult cartoons, check it out. It's um, it's really funny. It's about these kids going through puberty. Again, if you're a kid going through puberty, don't watch this. Mm, probably not the best idea. I hate putting age limitations on things and I don't because I don't have any right to, but like I just wouldn't suggest it for a kid. Like even for me, it was like, oh, we follow these two young boys and then they have um, a friend in their group that's a girl. They have another guy in the group, blah, blah, blah point is we follow these two boys. Uh, we follow one specifically who has a hormone monster so basically he shows up when his hormones are acting up and he tells him to do things. That's all I'll say. It's really graphic but the hormone monster kills me. Like the show is so funny to me and just amusing. Like I watched the whole season in one night. There's only like eight episodes and they're all like 20 minutes and now I want season two right now because it's so addicting and I did really like some of the characters and I had some favorite episodes because I've I've watched it twice I might rewatch it because it's really funny and I just it's kind of amusing but um I loved that episode everybody bleeds and then girls get horny too they were just good episodes okay they were fun check it out <laughs> on another note we're gonna be talking about some random favorites So starting off, I have my Kobo, which I got for my birthday in September. Um, I've been using it. I haven't used it towards the end of the month, but in the beginning of the month, I was using it a lot. So I don't know. I've never really had like a solid e-reader before. So this is fun. And I like this edition. This is the Kobo, Co Kobo, the Kobo, the Kobo Aura. It's the new one. So if you're Canadian, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, but they sell these at Indigo, the whole shebang, but 
The thing with this one is, is you can hook it up to overdrive so you don't have to pay for all your eBooks and you can take them out on here too. So that's great. It's a great alternative from taking them out off my phone and I really like this. So yeah. So there you guys have it. Those were my favorites from the past month. Let me know some of yours in the comments down below and Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button. Be sure to click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you guys all very soon with a new video. Bye.